Welcome to America Report channel. We invite you to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button, then press the like button to be the first to watch the news. The grisly stabbing death of synagogue president and political strategist Samantha Wall was not a hate crime, Detroit police announced Monday at a press conference. We believe that there are no other groups or anyone else at risk in regard to this particular incident, Detroit Chief Police James E. White told reporters. We believe this incident was not motivated by anti-Semitism, and this suspect acted alone. There was no forced entry, he noted. The body of the beloved community leader and avid supporter of Israel was found about 6.30 a.m. Saturday in front of her home in the Motor City's upscale Lafayette Park neighborhood. Detroit police responded to a 911 call of an unresponsive person and found 40-year-old Wool collapsed on the paved walkway in front of her townhome. She had stab wounds, and there was a trail of blood on the walkway that led to her home. Police said they believed the crime occurred in the house. In the midst of heightened tensions over the Israel-Hamas war, many speculated that she may have been the victim of a hate crime. She is an avid supporter of Israel and a prominent figure in the local Jewish community. As president of the Isaac Agree downtown Detroit synagogue, she spearheaded a massive renovation of the historic building. Before taking on her leadership role at the synagogue, she had worked for Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin and on the re-election campaign of Attorney General Dana Nessel, both Democrats. She co-founded the Muslim Jewish Forum of Detroit, whose mission is to encourage a positive relationship between the two communities. Michigan Democratic Congressman Rashida Tlaib, who has been a vocal critic of Israel, offered a tribute to Wall on Facebook. My friend and a member of our organizing community, Sam Wool, was murdered. I have no words. She always had a sweet smile to offer and the warmest eyes to greet you. Our community is devastated and we are shocked, she wrote.